Windows 7 includes new features and improvements that make it easier to change settings, so your PC works the way you want it to. Hi, I'm Charlene Shepard, a writer on the Windows team. For the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to take control of the settings on your PC and some new tools you can use to help keep your PC running smoothly. In Windows 7, Control Panel is still the primary place to change settings, and you still open it from the Start menu. By default, you see the Category view, which lists common tasks grouped by category. If you're used to the classic view in Windows XP, click the arrow next to View By, and then click either small icons or large icons. The easiest way to find something in Control Panel is to search for it. Type what you're looking for in the search box, and you'll immediately see items related to your search terms. I use search all the time and find it works really well. You can also search for control panel items in the start menu. Just type a search term and click a result to go straight to the setting you're looking for. Some control panel items have been renamed in Windows 7. For example, Add or Remove Programs is now called Programs and Features, and Display is now divided into two pages. Use Personalize to change your desktop background, Windows Color, Sounds, and Screen Saver. Just right-click the desktop and then click Personalize. Use the other page, Display, to adjust text size and screen resolution. You can access Display from Personalization, or you can search for it by clicking the Start button and then typing Display in the search box. Once you set up your PC the way you want it, it's important to keep it running smoothly. Windows 7 contains several new tools that can help you manage your PC. The Devices and Printers folder is a one-stop shop for viewing, managing, and using everything connected to your PC, like printers, phones, and other devices. Just click the Start button, and then click Devices and Printers. A new feature in Windows 7 called Device Stage takes device management a step further. Device Stage is a simple way to view the status of compatible mobile phones, music players, and other devices. You can also see a list of things that you can do with each one and an actual picture of your device. In Windows XP and even Windows Vista, pop-up messages can sometimes get out of hand. In Windows 7, you'll see fewer messages popping up because Action Center puts all of the messages in one place. Click the flag icon to see important messages. When you open Action Center, you'll see both notifications and suggested fixes for problems. There are also links to maintenance tasks, such as backing up your files or checking for updates. And if you're having a problem with your computer, check out the new Windows 7 troubleshooters. They can automatically fix some common problems. For example, if I can't hear sound on my computer, I can run the audio troubleshooter. It will search to try and find the source of the problem and fix it for me or suggest other places to get help if it can't fix the problem automatically. To start, I'll click Troubleshooting in Action Center. Then, I'll click Troubleshoot Audio Playback. The troubleshooter will take a few seconds to run, and will then show me the results. And I know you probably hear this all of the time, but don't forget the importance of backing up your PC. Most of us have valuable files on our PCs, such as documents, pictures, music, and videos. In Windows 7, you can set up automatic backups and help protect those files in just three clicks. If you've been running Windows XP, the backup options are similar, but easier to use. If you've been running Windows Vista, you'll notice that there are no more vague categories. Windows 7 includes files in common locations, such as the desktop and libraries, which automatically contain your pictures, documents, music, and videos. Or you can customize your backup by selecting the individual drives and folders that you want to keep safe. You can also schedule an automatic system image backup, which is basically a snapshot of your entire computer. If your hard drive or computer fails, you can easily restore your files, settings, and programs on a new computer or hard drive. With the improvements in Windows 7, you can customize your PC to be the way you want it and keep it running smoothly. Want to learn more? Check out the guide for this video. It has a lot of additional information, including step-by-step -step instructions, so you can explore Windows 7 on your own.